hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video we will going to look at the value list function which is a synthetic dimension function or the custom dimension whenever we need to create we can create in the front end with the help of the value list function so this is the value list example that i prepared for you and this value list is basically going to take your custom dimension. So if I just expand this, it is a dimension. And if I go into the expression editor, see instead of dimension, uh, particular dimension, I've given a value list and three dimensions have been specified. The number of orders, the average order size, and finally the total amount. So these are custom dimension which is not present in the backend data. So just to verify that, if I just click on apply, just to verify that, let's go into the data. And over here you see that we just have sales ID, sales, amount and year. We don't have anything like average order size, number of orders or total amount. So this is something we have created with the help of the value list and you can create as many custom dimension as you want because many times we want to create those custom tables which uh, is not so standard and part of the custom business analysis so once you have created the custom or the synthetic dimension like average order size number of orders total amount with the help of the value list function and just to show you again within value list function just provide the name of the dimensions separated by comma once you've done that um, you need to come back and specify whatever another dimension you want so i want year because i wanted to see by year how the values are coming and now let's go to the expression editor for measure which is this measure uh, at the top right side so in the expression editor so you see we are using if condition to identify for which dimension uh, we need to pick the particular function or the expression. So if value list, so first of all, we are saying our value list or the value list is uh, number of orders, average order size, total amount. Then we are saying equals to number of orders, right? Then say count of sales ID or count basically the ID, which is related to the order. And if you are saying value list is equals to average order size, then average amount. Otherwise, finally, the total amount, right? Because finally, it will be the total one. So that is coming in the else condition. So again, just to recap, we specify the value list to identify which for which dimension we want and then specify its relevant uh, function. Again, we check for the second dimension, which is average order size and specify its uh, function or the expression. And then finally, for the third dimension, the total amount. So let's hit apply. And this is the final value that we get for our synthetic or the custom dimension. And this basically opens up a lot of possibilities for you whenever you have such scenarios where you need to create the custom dimension. And for those custom dimension, you need to create custom expression, right? So in that case, you can use the value list function for the for this type of analysis. But that's about very quickly, I wanted to show you how you can create these custom or synthetic dimension. And I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.